TeacherGeek solves the two major problems for STEM, STEAM, and makerspaces, iterative design and using the data. Data is incredibly important. An elementary school teacher decides to do a unit on forces in motion where the kids are utilizing recycling bin materials to create vehicles. They then go to roll these vehicles down a ramp and they go all over the place where there's no correlation between the height or the potential energy and the kinetic role. Everyone is frustrated. The kids are asking, why do we need to learn this stuff? It doesn't even work. What started out as a STEM or STEAM activity turned into plain old arts and crafts. A high school physics teacher logs onto Pinterest and downloads instructions for catapults made from pencils, spoons, or tongue depressors. They're excited to do a STEM lesson in their classroom for projectile launchers. The kids get building their launchers. It's gonna be exciting, right? As groups finish, discipline problems start to occur. There's nothing else for them to do. Every design is turning out the same. They could color it or make small modifications, but they're pretty much done. The time comes for these launchers to be tested. It turns out there is no correlation as these catapults are changing so many variables, the data is absolutely and completely skewed. With TeacherGeek, the data works. When you roll the cars down the ramp, you can see the correlations between potential and kinetic, Newton's laws. The kids are like, now I get it, and aha, or I love this stuff. When they make a modification, it could be taking off a wheel. And that vehicle, for some reason, goes further. It leads them to further investigate how to make more changes. And it inductively starts to draw the math and the science into those processes. At the end of the year, that science teacher does not have to reteach the elements of kinematics and projectile motion because the kids have retained it. <laughs> ah, I hate hot glue. In fact, I stopped using it in my classroom when a student accidentally glued another kid's eye closed. The worst part about hot glue, it's not the burns, it's the fact that once you've glued it, it's really difficult to get your project apart so that you can redesign it. Your second, your third, your fourth design is way more important than your first. So when you're doing a STEM project, what materials do you use? The expensive snap together toys? The recycling bin materials? Probably that's it, isn't it? Just using recycling bin materials can be extremely frustrating when you're doing STEM projects. But recycling bin materials and TeacherGeek will absolutely blow you away. TeacherGeek allows you to go from one design to another design to yet another design in a matter of minutes instead of the hours or days that it would take to wait for glue to dry or to try to get tape to hold. TeacherGeek was priced to be a semi-consumable, to enable the recycling bin to do amazing things. This is a wind turbine that generates electricity. Can you see the top to a water cooler that's used in it? Or this one right here, this is the exact same project. It also generates electricity, but using a modified water bottle. So what would this group project cost? About $1.30 to $1.50 per student. TeacherGeek allows you to make just about anything you can imagine incredibly easy with only a few components. <laughs> Wrong way. More importantly, it allows you to easily change your design, to evolve it with your understanding, and to grow your understanding with every single design. A few years ago, Manufacturers started putting STEM or STEAM on just about every product imaginable. Message to those manufacturers, it was not true. We've learned our lesson. In fact, we're pretty disappointed. We're ready for real STEM. We're ready for STEM, STEAM, and Maker 2.0. TeacherGeek is absolutely humbled to be the leader in the movement, to be the 2.0 STEM, STEAM, and Maker solution, supporting thousands of teachers and maker spaces and after school programs, allowing them to do what they never thought would be possible. TeacherGeek activities come with free downloadable amazing documents. That's engineering challenges and labs, even teacher overviews. Everything is done either as a PDF or a Microsoft Word document so you can edit it and make it your own. That's only a few of the documents. If I printed them all out, it would be way more than I could hold. Thousands of sheets. The documents are self-directed, allowing students to work at their own pace and inherently differentiate. For teachers, this is wonderful because they get to become more facilitators. In a makerspace, the documents allow things to function often without the involvement of an adult at all. Most TeacherGeek activities have more than one engineering challenge. 
That's because it's so easy to modify your vehicles or whatever else you're making to go from one design challenge to the next. Sometimes classrooms, they just need to get the morale up, the energy, you've gotta have fun. And this definitely adds that. Challenge another classroom or the entire school. Most Teacher Geek documents have scenarios, making kids feel like they've crash landed on Mars. They only have a few components and they have to build a vehicle to try to get out of a crater and as far towards the base as possible or that they're under the sea and they have to recover specimens in the least amount of time and with the greatest accuracy. Visit teachergeek.com and you'll see some of them. Visit again in a month or two and you'll find even more. They're always free, always insanely amazing, and always downloadable in a modular way so that you can edit them, you can choose what you want to use in your classroom and make it work perfectly. Because there's no perfect design, you're never done. Students continue to evolve and iterate to the very last second. They start to tinker and experiment. Before you know it, they're pulling the math and the science in. In fact, they're going home and doing so much research because they want to make their vehicle go that much further or hit the target or recover a specimen or generate electricity. Teacher Geek is a manufacturer and a curriculum developer. The curriculum, we make that in-house. We have a curriculum development team and we give it away for free. What we manufacture outside of Rochester, New York, we try to do at the lowest cost possible. Teacher Geek has activities and lessons that span from preschool all the way up through 12th grade to university. Teacher Geek is not a toy. In fact, you have to use tools in order to process the materials. So it should be done under adult supervision. That said, kids don't get to build anything nowadays. So the idea that they get to use screwdrivers and pliers and things like that, it is so incredibly cool to them. Do you see that over there? That's not the fine print to this video. Those are the standards to which Teacher Geek aligns, the NGSS, the Common Core, and so many others. So it helps you teach what the state and your district tell you you need to. But to be able to do it in a way where you're taking kids to higher cognitive domains, that means that you don't have to reteach it at the end of the year. And they should perform much higher on these assessments, especially when they have to do it in an alternate context. Many people ask, what is my favorite part about Teacher Geek? The answer is always the same. There are so many kids that are absolutely brilliant and gifted, but they don't know it because they have an intelligence set that school doesn't appeal to. Teacher Geek gives them an experience that allows them to apply some of these. And so many kids realize that they can excel at something, that they're gifted. It changes the courses that they take, their career paths, and ultimately their happiness in life. Enough talking, I'm ready to get making. What? It's not over? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you want to learn more, visit us at teachergeek.com or give us a call. There's so much that we didn't talk about, like this makerspace. It is absolutely unbelievable in transforming libraries, classrooms, makerspaces all over the world. Till next time, geek out.